Hey members and friends, that's where our pond's going, right in here. So that's going to be a challenge for me. I never put a pond in before. So, there. Kind of starting from scratch again. <laughs> I have to start. Oh, lava! I don't know if you can see any of this. What to do, what to do. <laughs> to do. Oh yeah, members and friends, I think you can see me. It's been a while. Boy, oh boy, when I said making changes for Andre, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> so what are my thoughts on it? These are the conditions I have to work under. That is like four years of hard labor wiped out in a day. I'm taking it in stride though. The people that were doing it, they were okay. They helped move all those bricks and <laughs> rocks and plants and house foundation cement blocks and beams. <laughs> boulders <laughs> I don't think they were up for it when they drove up but once we all got out there it wasn't so bad everybody chipped in right but you can see the state that it's in right now it's like worse than starting off from scratch because <laughs> I'm under pressure now right? <laughs> I have to get it all done in a year <laughs> And here I thought that side was safe this year. I was going to spend more time in the back, build the hen house. But Mr. Lace is getting a girlfriend in the next day or two. He might even get two. <laughs> My landlord's coming with a girlfriend for Mr. Lace, so that's kind of cool. And we got a hole now for the pond, only I don't know how to do a pond. So that's going to be a challenge. I kind of have to make it raccoon prevent, you know, make it raccoon friendly, I guess you say, you know, and, and safe for the fish, and I have to think about, you know, the children in the neighborhood too, so. Uh, uh. And, I, and I don't want to spend too much money, right? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, well, I'll have to build in some shade, so I got some old bamboo that I moved in on a, it's in a pot, right? Because the place before I moved into this place, they had bamboo on the other side from the neighbors, and they were just ripping it out. And I said, well, no, give me some bamboo. So I planted all this bamboo in these pots, and the thing grew like six feet tall. And then when we moved here, a few pots came. And uh, in the end, there's this one big one, right? And I can't dig it out. I'd have to bust the pot in order to get into it. But I noticed they're shooting up. So we actually got some bamboo. So that, that's kind of cool. But I have to be careful with it because bamboo spreads, right? It can be very evasive. So I'd have to, you know, dig into the ground and board it off and maybe find out how deep their roots go, right? Because God forbid if it spreads too much. But bamboo is nice around ponds. And a couple shrubs, maybe. I have to buy some more lining and that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm standing there. I'm just looking around, you know, like, hmm, where do you start? <laughs> hmm. Uh, one of the fellas, they gave me 40 bucks, eh? Just, you know, for the kids to go have something to eat, right? Because he felt kind of bad, right? You know. So that was nice. I mean, we, the pipes, we should have no problem with the pipes now. So, you know, three years of no plumbing problems. <laughs> If that's what it took to get three years plus, plus, well, then long term is going to be worth it, right? And, uh, but I never thought I'd grow up to be a landscaper. <laughs> Peace out, members and friends.
fix the fight. I don't know what they did there. Something sticking up. All my hard work, people. <laughs> okay, members and friends. I'm using my little handheld video camera here. This is my new potato patch. Uh, this, this is going to be where the chicken coop is. Remember last year we were looking at it, it was full of morning glory. I pulled out a whole city recycling bin for refuge in terms of weeds and stuff just out of this little area. It was just morning glory roots, that's it. So, that's where the chicken coop is going to be. In there, behind the potato patch. It's going to take a little while, so I thought I'd try some potatoes first. And then, there's that little box. So, got the little strawberries growing. Here, I threw in some more potatoes into this box. So, we'll see what happens there. Over there is onions. So, we'll see if they pop up. All right. Greenhouse is still kind of just... Hopefully we'll get on this pretty soon. And there's Mr. Lace. He comes out, he walks around, he follows me around the yard now. <laughs> right, Mr. Lace? You follow me around the yard. I went out into the front, where are you? I went out into the front and uh, he followed me out to the front, followed me around the side, <laughs> followed me to the back. I was hung hanging out in the garage as I was cleaning out the garage there for a little bit. <laughs> and then when I started spraying it down, he didn't like that. So he, he uh, went back to his coop. Right? And there's Mickey the gardener cat. Mickey! Mickey! Mickey, where are you? There you are. Hold on a minute. Okay, so this is what brings me out. Oh my God. They are digging up my front yard, people. They're gonna make this 10 times more fucking worse for me. This is full of sand, got rained in. Full of sand, got rained in. There's another bucket full of sand. This is what I've been dealing with ever since I moved in. There's another bucket. Now they're going to take it from that pipe there and they're going to dig all the way down. And they want me to move my grandson's playhouse. Mama! And Mama. all of this. Maybe some of this. They're going to dig up my walkway. And they're probably going to cut right down through the middle of that. So I drew myself a little map. This is probably all going to get dug up. Everything's nice and settled. Right? I don't have a problem with sand. I don't have a problem with morning glory roots. They're going to probably dig up all of this. They're just going to come in with, looks like this little machine right up over here. I mean, where did this guy come from? Is that what they're going to come into my yard with and start digging up fucking pipes? And I'm not supposed to get mad. <laughs> so, I figure, since they're going to be digging a long ass hole in here, all the way down, probably to the road, after they're done, maybe we should be thinking about putting in a pond. There's the culprit right there. Hold on. Okay, members and friends, look at my yard. Look at my yard. This is my yard, man. Look at my yard. My mom started Look at my yard. This is my yard. This is my yard. This is my pad. Oh yeah, but we get to put the fish pond in. There's fish pond. So we're taking a bowl of lemons and we're making lemonade. <laughs> Okay, members and friends, this is my yard now. There's the culprit pipe down there. <laughs> oh, I'm handling this pretty good. 
I have to say. That's where my mint used to be. <laughs> hmm. We moved everything from over here, and it looks like the pipe is going this way. Like, what the hell? Are they going to start moving this stuff now? Oh, my God. What? They're going to destroy my rabbit hutch? Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Like my, Now they're going to... They can't tear... They can't tear my rabbit hutch apart. Just think. Here's the fish pond. <laughs> oh, if we have to start moving that, they can't destroy my rabbit hutch. Oh my god. And my compost box? It's like my whole yard. Everything that I've done in the last four years is out the window. Yeah. Mr. Lace on the stairs wants to just hang out with everybody. Hmm? What? What is this? My mom lets our rooster do. Mr. Lace is the coolest bird. Aren't you just the coolest bird, Mr. Lace? You just got to be hanging out hanging out with everybody. Huh? You're not even trying to go anywhere. See, he lived in this little spot right here for about six weeks, so I'm thinking that's probably what it is. He, he just liked being in the kitchen with us. <laughs> so he's got to, he's been hanging out here for the last couple of hours. <laughs> I got to start handling him more, though. Make him a little harness so I can go take him to go see the kids. This bird is just, he's making everybody smile. It's hilarious. He's getting a girlfriend, our landlord. He's coming with a, a hen or two. He said he's two uh, maybe two girlfriends. <laughs> so in the next couple of days, Mr. Lace gets a girlfriend. <laughs> Mr. Lace, my beautiful bird. You're my beautiful bird, aren't you? Huh? Yeah. Handsome. He's a handsome bird. Huh? Yeah. You're going to fall off of there, Mr. Lace. <laughs> That's a little slippery for you. I need to get you a pole. I'll, put, I'll set you up a pole. He likes to hang up here with us, I think, because he, he lived in the kitchen here. <laughs> so he likes to kind of be close to us. But he's getting a girlfriend. Mr. Lace eating some cat food. Right, Mr. Lace? Eating cat food. <laughs> well, they fixed the fight. <laughs> I don't know what they did there. Something sticking up. All my hard work, people. <laughs> okay, members and friends, that's where our pond's going. Right in here. So that's going to be a challenge for me. I never put a pond in before. So, there. Kind of starting from scratch again. <laughs> I have to start. Oh, lover. I don't know if you can see any of this. What to do, what to do. <sighs> what to do.